Hello, people of the world. I am Personified Fear, and welcome to a game that I am pretty damn excited to play. Ladies and gents, this is Thomas Was Alone. So, this game came out a couple of years ago. I don't exactly remember when. I want to say maybe around 2011, somewhere around there. I'm not entirely sure. But this game is pretty damn amazing um i played it years ago and what really actually got me into the game was a youtuber that i used to like watching around that time uh utoric i used to watch his playthroughs all the time and i he was playing this game and he stopped playing it after a certain point but i went back but i went ahead and started playing it myself and i loved it it was just an amazing thing and uh, apparently on the PS4, I don't know if the Steam version of this has the DLC as well, but apparently there's a DLC with it too. So, awesome. But let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm excited for this. Also, one thing I have to say, this soundtrack is fucking awesome. But anyway, this the program was a failure. People forget this, forgot this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding names to the stream as a joke. Thomas was a special AI. Was alone. Yes, very weird. Roll the credits. Let's do this. So the basic objective is it's just a standard platforming game. Platforming with puzzles is some shit. Um, the narrator here will talk about each of these little blocks here and the story gets very fucking deep and I love it. Thomas is an observant little bitch. The whole alone thing. Portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three. Falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. It's really the only good. This is really the only thing he's really as good at. Besides jumping, he's pretty damn good at jumping. This is one guy that's really shit at it. Okay, interesting. Thomas Ooh. couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to... What's the word? Jump. Yeah! Jumping. It worked. <laughs> we didn't get that one, unfortunately. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. So yeah, there is no real danger here. Um, I am going to be silent for a good chunk of these because the narr as the game goes on, the narration kind of does die down. But for the beginning bits, the narration is very, real is very important. Um, so yeah, uh, there's going to be a lot of silence for me, but at least in the beginning bits, just enjoy the soundtrack. The seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable. And it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. By the way, water? Bad. Something to suspect. It might even be... This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable. And it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Possibly paranoia. It's not paranoia, guys. When is it ever just paranoia? Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Probably not important. have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. The only skills he seems to have. Designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Oh, fuck that up. But yeah, the only skills he seems to have had that he's that he's noted himself is observing, falling, and jumping. 
Like, come on, Thomas. Come on, bro. You don't know what the fuck's going on. I just... Oh my god, the soundtrack is amazing. <laughs> Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Swim in it, Thomas! You dirty bastard. Mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. Yeah, you should probably avoid water. Boop! Boop! But anyway, uh, these are going to be your respawn points. These are going to be very helpful. So you, you really do want those. Alright, I'll try to make Thomas not fall in the water anymore. At least on purpose. Alright, here we go. Loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Bullshit. Ooh, okay, I fucked that up. Oh, oh, there's no more narration at this point. Yay, I can talk. But, uh... Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I don't really have much to say at this point. Like, this little bit is just all about Thomas. Uh, we do get some more characters later on. Um... And as I said before, the, the, the game goes very deep with a bunch of ideals and whatnot that uh, I don't remember at this time. But uh, when they come up, I might have my own little psychological analysis of this game and the feels that it makes you have about these little fucking blocks. Because there are a good chunk of them, each with their own individual abilities that we will learn as time goes on. But uh, let's just keep moving on with our good buddy Thomas. Was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. You know, because he's all alone and shit. I'm trying to use this thing to. There you go. Whee! There's no way to die here, by the way. All right, time to not time to not be alone anymore. I think. Yeah, here we go. I've submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told the idiot that this would happen. Overlapping scripts. More than one AI was bound to be spawned in an environment at some point. Turns out I missed that point. The little error changed everything. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Yeah, fuck you, Thomas! But now for these type of puzzles, you need to move each of the little blocks into the respective size hole. Ha! <laughs> Dirty minds. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Yeah, he could be. So, Actually, ooh. Not technically graceful, probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. I love this narrator, by the way. <laughs> I just I just love him. I can also use the little touch mat thing here to do it, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm probably never going to do that, but hey, that's a thing. So yeah, you're gonna need uh, Thomas's help here, mainly because Christopher is bad at jumping. Uh, Christopher's jumping skill is very much gimped, but something really cool about this is that you can have the blocks uh, right on top of each other, however, they are incapable of jumping. So whoever is on the bottom cannot jump uh, when there is someone right on top of them. You're also gonna need Thomas for this, actually. Oops, well, actually that worked out. Uh, so yeah, Christopher hates Thomas because, you know, he's all skinny, he's jumping around, and, you know, Chris is fat. That's basically it. <laughs> That's basically all there is to Chris's character. He's really pissy at Thomas because Thomas is all skinny, and he can jump really high, and Chris is all stubby and not able to do that. Yeah. It's weird. But what Chris can do that Thomas can't. Okay. This was more like it. A glowy white thing. 
only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Boop! So yeah, Chris is capable of getting into smaller spaces. And that's really Chris's only ability. <laughs> but uh yeah, you know, Chris is Chris is a dick. <laughs> there really isn't much else to him. Uh, another thing you can do with them is also push them up like that, but there's never really much of a need to do that. Grace, I Grace. think another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously. This made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. <laughs> this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. <laughs> Here we go! So, uh, Chris, you know, he, he, I don't really know what to say about Chris, man. He's just, he's just really pissy for no real reason. But, uh, Thomas is no longer alone anymore, which is great. So, that's awesome, huh? Thomas is all happy, kind of silent. Chris is thinking to himself how much of a dick Thomas is. Why am I fucking up these jumps? I fucked that one up too. What the hell is wrong with me? Someone save me. Alright, here we go. Like, when the levels get harder and I have to do jumps like that, it's just gonna... I'm just gonna suck. By the way, this is going right now. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together. A brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. How dare you be happy? But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Uh, I'm pretty sure Thomas can make this without... Yeah, there we go. Not Thomas, but Chris can make that without his help. But yeah, Thomas uh, gets on Chris's nerves. Mostly because Thomas is constantly making observations, and... It, it, they're rather obvious, even though... <laughs> like, it's, suppo it's apparently something new to Tom. It's completely new to Thomas, but... Oh, come on! And I'm pretty sure it's also new to Chris, but, you know... The fact that Thomas is, you know, constantly going, hmm, it pisses him off a little bit. I think this is probably going to be the last level of this episode here, so let's do it! And try not to die a lot, hopefully. <sighs> there we go. Made the checkpoint, and oh, you a dick. <laughs> there we go. And do that. And do that. And now we fall, and yay! This was his chance, a moment to shine. This was game day. <laughs>